today. Alan Calder, celebrity birthdays, ladies and gentlemen. Wow. Thank you. Okay, uh, the stuntman. Is my stuntman here? Is my stuntman standing by? There is good. <laughs> Uh, is Alan Coulter, our announcer, is his stuntman here? Alan, is your stuntman ready uh, to go? Dave, Dave I, I don't think I have one. Uh -huh. Well, why would I need a stuntman? I mean, mostly I just sit here all night. I don't do much. I just talk. <laughs> oh. Ow. Ow. Yeah, okay. All right. Thanks, Alan. You know, it's not working at all tonight. I know. Well, you got to worked perfectly your last night. Uh, Paul, how are you doing? I'm doing. You look Hello. fantastic, by the way. Uh, well, thank you. You like the chartreuse? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that chartreuse I don't know exactly. What it, no, what I, I think it's like violet. It's a little mauve, purple. I think. I, think mauve? I like it. Yeah. Why or, would you say chartreuse? Chartreuse. I don't know. Is, that, that's just the craziest term I could think of. It's the <laughs> most, I don't know what chartreuse. Well, you look really. nice, nonetheless. Thank you very much. Alan, what about you? How are you? Oh, Alan, ladies and gentlemen, here's our announcer, Alan Coulter. Alan. <laughs> nice to see you. Good to be here. How you been? Pretty good. I know Alan plays. Do you get a chance to play a lot of golf during the summer? Oh, a lot of golf. How many, days a, how many days a week do you play? I say I play about five rounds a week. Really? Did you play earlier today? Not today. Well, today yesterday. would have been the day to play. Wasn't good day today to just ideal? Beautiful day yeah. today. What really, about really. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's this? Oh, my God. What? I've never seen anything like that. What, what is... Hey, stop that. Hey, you almost hit him. Oh, oh, all right. Oh. I don't know. You okay? Alan, you all right? <laughs> Paul, do you know why? I don't know. I don't know what that was about. I don't either. <laughs> the uh, National Academy of Television Arts and uh, Sciences, earlier today they announced their uh, Emmy nominations. We here at The Late Show, as I mentioned earlier, five uh, Emmy nominations. Listen, to hold it, hold it, hold it. We're very lucky. We're very happy. We would like to thank the Academy for uh, nominating us uh, yet again. Outstanding variety music or comedy series. And did you, by the way, did you see an example of our Emmy award-winning comedy right over there? Uh, that's, that's what we're talking about. Outstanding individual performance in a variety of music program. Outstanding writing for a variety, and that's a fine piece of writing too, wasn't it? <laughs> Uh, outstanding uh, direction uh, for a variety of music program. Outstanding, uh, uh, that's Jerry Foley, our director. Yeah. Outstanding technical director, uh, camera work video for a series, Tim Kennedy. Tim that? Kennedy, so that's five nominations. <laughs> very happy. Thank you very much. Alan, you over there? It's dark over there. You over there? Yeah. How yeah, was your weekend? Did you have a nice great weekend? Great weekend. Went a little boating. A lot of golf. Wait, wait, where did you go boating? Norwalk, Stanford area. Really? Yeah, it was beautiful. In, in like a reservoir? The waters or? were calm. It right. was just... Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait. Oh, it's this again. My God. What, what is the problem? Why does... Look at that. It's getting worse. It's... You all right? <laughs> Alan? Did do you owe somebody money or something? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I'm talking about? An embarrassment of riches? All right, we have... Remember, we're a team... 
Hi, you want to be the Lone Ranger tonight? Yeah, I'll be the Lone Ranger. Okay, I'll be uh, Tonto. <laughs> <laughs> also on the show, Bob Starlock. He's great. Very He's funny man. Funny guy. Yeah. We've known Bob for a long, long time from the Bay Area. He's a sophomore, I think, Bob Starlock. And he'll be out he's here. a sophomore? I just said that because he's, <laughs> he's always... He's in second year? a joke for him. Relax, will you? Okay. You don't need to explain everything. I don't understand that. I just said he's a sophomore. I say, Well, I'm a, fre and, uh, well, I'm a freshman. It means something to him. Okay. It means nothing to me. Yeah. All right. I'm waiting for the pizza guy to be cued in so we can do the first joke of the night. <laughs> okay. All right. Oh, here he comes. Alan, what's going on over there? What the hell is this all about? Oh, thanks. Here, here you can... Huh? What it's, is that? It, it's, uh, it's just dinner, Dave. Okay. <laughs> it's the pizza guy. It might have been a little more effective if I didn't have to call for the pizza guy. Do you understand that? Perhaps. You know what's you, the only important, you know the only rule in comedy, Paul? What's that? Timing. Timing, yeah. <laughs> Try it again. Ask me again. Timing. T okay. Oh, no. But I, see. <laughs> there you go. I thought, <laughs> here's how that was supposed to go. I thought you and I would be talking, yes, and then I, it would be one of, one of these. You know? I know. You were just but I, I did casual. that once, and I said, well, the pizza guy ain't here. How I can just, I possibly be doing, I unless know. it's an imaginary. And uh, Alan's had imaginary pizza guys <laughs> in here before. Well, who has? Who has? See, last night, maybe we have the videotape of this. Last night, we had Alan beaten up in this. About 24 hours ago, we had a guy come in, a thug, come in and beat Alan up. Well, uh, and it was all funny, and everybody laughed. But apparently, uh, I'm told Alan actually got clipped. Oh, he did? He got yeah, hurt? When the guy, we got, oh, let's see the videotape. This is what happened last night. Let's see if you can, okay, there's Alan. Look Whoa. at the thug. Bang. Oh, oh, Bang. Oh, oh, man. Why does, and one oh. more. There you go. Ooh. So. Could have been uh, any one so of those. Uh, we thought tonight, instead of having the guy beat Alan up again, because that seems cruel. <laughs> you know, especially if he was injured on the play last night. It seems, so tonight we'd give him a break. He'd have the pizza. But, you know, if you'd have, well, hell, a pizza oh, guy. Oh, well, what are you going to do? There. And I want to tell you something, Alan. If that kid was late, that pizza should be free. <laughs> Why do I even... I don't know. How are you doing? I'm doing very nicely. Thank you very much. Good. Uh, and um, wait a second. What's the matter? Thank you very much. I just saw a guy walk in the door. Oh, no, it's this again. Alan, what is that? Alan? This is good. This is just my dinner date. We, did, we went through this last night. Oh. You, wait a minute. <laughs> We've got this. Do we file a report? What do we do when that happens? God bless him. All right, Alan. We'll get that guy's name. We'll, we'll get the Washington, D.C. police on that right away. Uh, I'll tell you, I'm just a little... Uh, the problem is, I'm, you know, uh, uh, yesterday was my mother's uh, 80th birthday. Yes. And, and, and that, that's great. Now, she's in I Indianapolis, and, and I'm not in Indianapolis. Uh, but this weekend is like the, the, the big birthday party. And I'll, I'll be attending the big birthday. Good for you. And, great. Thanks. That's great. And, <laughs> and, that, and that means the entire family, the entire family, all of them, you know, hordes of people in the family yeah. will be together. That'll and, be great. <laughs> and and, and uh, I was uh, thinking about this the other day. I, I, I don't think that, that the entire family has ever been together, ever. Oh. And, and I think we all know why. Uh-oh. <laughs> Well, why? Well, I think, if, I think if we were to have been together before, we would have been together before. <laughs> I see. But we've been together in factions. Yes, sure. Most but we, families have. Yeah. But we've never been together en masse. I see, en masse. <laughs> and I just, I just don't know what to do exactly. I see. Because there will be the big luncheon. Sure. Yeah. And then the next day, the next day, 24 hours later, well, actually less than 24 hours later, yes. there will be the brunch. Uh -huh. <laughs> Do 
what will we possibly not cover at the luncheon <laughs> that we will need to take care of at the brunch? Uh, well. What could possibly transpire that would cause us to need to reconvene the next day to, to discuss what happened? You know what I'm well, saying? Well, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, but this is family. Well, I know it's family, but... but Sometimes I think maybe if it were strangers, you'd have more to talk about. <laughs> Hi, where are you from? Nice to see you. And my... And, you know, and, and my mother, uh, bless her heart, is a very uh, uh, quiet, very demure. Yes. And so is everyone else. I see. <laughs> well, I have, I have an idea you could try. What's that? Stupid Petrix. No. No, what do you mean? Well, if you need, if you need something for you the brunch. Act actually do a segment for them right there? You may, well, yeah, yeah, because then you'll be able to relax. You'd have your material. Yeah. <laughs> because I think a lot of them are counting on me to run this show. Yeah, that's what I yeah. thought, yeah. The, a lot of them are under the impression that I'm Carrot Top. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And I'm not. Oh, I know. So it's going to be a lot of this. <clears throat> I was a ride in from the airport. Good. <laughs> we'll, we'll finish up tomorrow at brunch. <laughs> well, that's what that's going to be, the big family party. What's the, what's the matter with the FBI? Yeah, you know, they're just falling apart. Remember when the FBI, when, when they, we had that uh, cross-dressing queen running the FBI? Remember, then it was... Then it was something, you know? But now it's just falling apart. Well... You know what I'm talking about? I had a friend of mine who uh, works down in Washington. He took this picture of the FBI headquarters building. You've seen it, I'm sure, when you go down to Washington. Uh, yes, of course. Yeah. Here, now, uh, you take my word for it, things are really falling apart. What do you well, mean? Look, well, look at the building. You see? <clears throat> did, you, did you try the meat? <laughs> yeah. I did. Try the meat. Did you try the meat? <laughs> yeah. Will that be you or someone else talking? <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you know, I, 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 of course it's my family, and I uh, love them deeply, and, and, uh, but you, what do you say, you know? You just, and they have nothing to say to me, I have nothing to say to them. So, so it, it, is it really the best idea to have two sit-down eating functions? I don't know. Do you want me to speak to somebody? No. <laughs> Would you like to go with me? Okay. Well, I... Hey. Put the, put the boys in, in, in a, the, the, the bus and drive out and do a, have a gig. I'll pay, a I'll pay you. Yeah, come on out. Yeah? All right. Well, what do you think? Are we busy? Some of us have gigs. Actually. <laughs> <laughs> if we had only known. You know, we'd known. What, what do I have to do to get Alan beat up? I know. How long I'm, do we I'm, have to I'm talk? Waiting and waiting I know. and waiting. It's in some, a I long thought, time. Okay, here oh. comes the pizza. There, oh, that's the first God. part of it. There's Alan. Okay. Oh. Alan, what are you doing over there? You shouldn't be eating during the meal. During the show. Dinner, Dave. No, I know. So wait a minute. Look out. It's oh. this guy again. I know what the problem is. What's the problem? They, the producers feel that when you're talking about your family, yeah. you know, that's sacrosanct. They should, <laughs> no, shouldn't no. In interrupt I'm, that I'm, with a sketch. I'm, I'm saying a quiet prayer that somebody cues the kid in with a pizza. I know. I got nothing. I'm talking about the big family lunch. I know. I pretty much said everything I got to say eight times. Pizza guy's there. They're saying, no, no, I, I've established that nobody will say anything, right. and we'll have to do it twice, and they're coming from all over the world, and we never do it, and there's a reason we never do it. Yeah. And then I go through it again. Yeah. Thinking, and then, all right, maybe yeah. this time they'll send out the yeah, pizza no, guy. This is the third night in a row. Don't want <laughs> we have had trouble getting the pizza guy in here. I don't want to interrupt you. <laughs> the scintillating conversation. Yeah. Uh, well, maybe, you know, maybe that would happen at the big... Uh, ah. <laughs> somebody gets beat up. Uh-huh. <laughs> Possibly. Uh, 
I'll give you an example. One time, uh, I was vacationing with my mom. And so, uh, this is like Tuesday. And so, uh, <laughs> we're, we're sitting around eating, and, 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 and you know that desperation that sinks into your guts when you just have nothing to say? And, and you know that you can't sit there in, in silence another night, and you just, well, let's see, we've talked about the flies, we've talked about the weather, we've talked about the ride in from the airport, we've talked about the luggage, we've talked about the flight. So now I said to mom, who's quite a cook, my God, this woman just can cook like crazy and everything is fantastic. And so I said to her, I said, you know, uh, mom, I was uh, trying to make a... Uh, uh, spaghetti sauce uh, the other night. Italian spaghetti? Yes, Italian <laughs> spaghetti. And, and you, had to, you, had, you had to peel uh, the peppers. Now, I, you know, I'm no uh, Wolfgang Puck or whoever. That's that good, is. yeah. But so you, you, they, there's this big elaborate process. You got to broil them, and, and then, you, and, and, you know, at the end of the day, you're still peeling peppers, and it looks like you've been playing with a lump of coal. You just got, it just, and suddenly you're Emmett Kelly, and it's just, it's, <laughs> It's impossible to peel the damn peppers, you know, and, and, and they're hot and they're steamy and they're just peppers. And so I said to, I said to my mom, who's a fantastic cook, I said, Mom, do you, do you ever uh, roast and peel the peppers? Yes. <laughs> and I said, that's great. I said, uh, do you have any trouble peeling them? No. Alan, is Alan here, our announcer, Alan Coulter? Right here, Dick. Nice to see you. Alan Coulter, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Pretty good, Dick. Pretty good. Is that sport jacket made of Kevlar? Is that carbon fiber we're looking at? I believe so. Looks like it might be. Alan, now, uh, I don't want to embarrass you. I don't want to put you on the spot, but uh, it seemed like several nights this week, Paul, you saw this. Yeah, I've been And here. a couple of nights last week, you were, uh, at this point of the show, you were beaten up. Yeah. A guy comes in, <laughs> guy comes in and beats you up. Do you, now, I don't understand it at you, all. Do you, know the, do you owe somebody money? I don't money? know him. I didn't do anything wrong. I have no idea. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, look at this. He's giving him a savage beating. Wow. Yeah, all right. Can we get you a mint? I don't know. He'll be fine. He's taken worse beatings than that, believe me. He's, he's fine. He's got the heart of a thoroughbred. He's fine. Schaefer, thank you very much. Billy Crystal is here. Al Lubell is on the program. The writers are helping me out with uh, icebreakers for the big party tomorrow. <laughs> How about this weather? Yeah, that's okay. Is it hot where you live? That'll be a, kind of a variation of how's this weather. Hot where you live. Is it hot where you live? Yeah, yeah. yeah. This one, I don't know about this one. Is that aqua velva? <laughs> Is that Old Spice? Maybe Old Spice is where you... I think Old Spice is where you want to be on that one. All right. That's where you want to be. Okay. <laughs> All right. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, it's time now for tonight's top ten list. Let's go. Uh... Tonight's top ten is brought to you by new Miracle Hair Remover, Apple Stop and Spray. Hi. I'm Alan Falker. <laughs> Dave Letterman, stooge announcer. You know, a while back I was saying to myself, Alan, what's the problem? You're good looking, you have a fantastic personality, and you're hung like a mule. So how come you can't get the hot babes to put out? Well, recently a friend said to me, Alan, maybe it's your really hairy back. Have you tried Apple Stop and Spray? Here, take a look at this home video. Look, the hair just melts away. And the good news is my back hair is gone and the babes are on me like a half-price carnival ride. <laughs> Thank you, Apple Stop and Spray. It works for me, it will work for you. Apple Stop and Spray. How about you, Dave? Thanks, Alan.
Now we're going to get somewhere. Our first guest is a uh, good friend of ours and uh, one of the funniest men we know. He is uh, co-written now and stars in a uh, brand new entertaining motion picture called America's Sweethearts. It opened today. Ladies and gentlemen, here's Billy Crystal. Billy. <laughs> some law and order to the town. <laughs> I tell you, it's getting a little rough around here. <laughs> Alan, how was your weekend? Great week, great weekend, David. What did you do, golf? Did you play any golf? Movies, golf. Well, you golf. saw some films. What did you see? Oh, Jurassic Park 3. Oh, Jurassic Park. Yeah, it was pretty nice. What is this? I'm going to say dinner, Dave. What is this? It's dinner. You're getting dinner in the yeah, middle of this dinner. show? I got to eat. Alan, you could have done this. At, isn't that the guy who always beats you up, by the way? Oh, oh my go. God. It, oh, ouch. Wow. And, oh. Oh, and now what? Oh. Oh. Why does, why does that always happen to me, for heaven's sake? Oh, look at it. Oh. You all right, Al? <laughs> I'm very excited. We have a big uh, show tonight. It's just jam-packed with stuff, so I can't be uh, goofing around here too much. So we gotta, right. we got to get right to the show. Okay. So, uh, Alan, how was your evening? Did you have a nice night yeah, last night? Yeah, Good. Nice Alan Calter, our announcer, ladies and gentlemen. What did you do? Oh, no, not... Oh, every, every night. He, that's awful. Nothing. Sorry, Alan. All right? You'll be fine. All right. We're just putting on a show. Rupert, if you'll escort Stacy now back to the sandwich making station through the gates of honor there. Now, while you're, while you're getting ready, before you blindfold her, Alan Calter will now tell our home audience tonight's psychic sandwich. Alan? Tonight's psychic sandwich is made with sautéed roast beef, American cheese, Grilled onions, right. lettuce, tomatoes, hot peppers, and mayonnaise on a hero. Oh, boy. It's known to Rupert G. customers as the Biff Henderson. Oh, the Biff Henderson. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right, there, uh, Rupert. Let's check in with our announcer, Alan Coulter. Alan, how are you, buddy? What's you going on? Here. Nice to see you. Nice day today. Hot, but nice. How you been? Pretty good. Thank you, Dave. Now, you don't go out and play golf in this kind of heat, do you? No, actually, I do, but I use a cart. I don't walk in this type of heat. Oh, so you played today? Played this morning. What'd you shoot? I shot an 87. Uh-huh. Where, where not you, bad for me. Where do you play? Up there at, is it Pound Crooked Ridge, Bush? Pound Ridge, New York. Oh, that's nice or up any there. Or any other place yeah. that'll have it. What is, I'm sorry, what is going on there with the guy? There's uh, nothing going on. This is the, from the audio department. We had to adjust the mic, because I have to have it at a certain now, Wait a minute, wait a minute. That's no audio guy. Isn't that the, isn't that the same no, guy is, who beats is you up audio. every night? No, that's the guy who beats oh, you up every night. What is going on? Why did you oh, have to bring God. that up? Why? Oh. I thought... I didn't think that was... Why did you have to bring it up? Did you recognize him? Yeah, but I wasn't going to say anything. I thought that wasn't the guy Look from... Look at poor Alan. Look at him. He looked to familiar get. to me. I poor said to guy. myself, boy, yeah. oh, boy. Alan, can we get you a moist towelette? <laughs> Look at him. He uh, needs more than that. Look at him. He'll be fine. He's pitiful. <laughs> he's pitifully trying to it drag himself. four or five nights a week. I know. Every night he's pitiful. I don't understand it. Hey, it's none of my business. Live and let live. I've always said that. I didn't see nothing, frankly. All right. Ready? 
Paul Schaefer and the Felicia Collins Schaefer, CBS Felicia Collins Paul Schaefer Orchestra. I mean, uh, I tell you, he's on the program tonight, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. We got a blockbuster of a show for you tonight. Greg Kinnear, he is fine very, actor, a lovely man in his very own right, hot. a humanitarian. Impeccable hygiene, Greg Kinnear. Is Isn't that true? Huh? Ah, he has impeccable hygiene. Yeah, he's starring in an HBO uh, film called Dinner with Friends. Dinner well, you've got to have impeccable hygiene uh, to start an HBO film. Uh, premieres August the 11th. Dinner... Dinner with Friends. Also, Afro-Kelt sound system with Peter Gabriel. That's fantastic. I heard that rehearsal. System. Fantastic. Oh, and Paul Schaefer. Hi, Paul. How you doing? Nice to see you. I'm nice fine. Nice to see you. Introduce uh, the gentleman sitting in with the band tonight. What? I, I'm not. I don't know. I'm not sure who that is. You don't know who that is? No, I don't know who. It, I don't know who it is. You know. Who, you know. It looks. Know. That guy looks. A, oh my God! It is. That's what? the guy. That's the guy who every night beats up Alan. Carson. No, that's no. That's the guy right there. No, it's there. not. It's not that guy. Yes, it's no. the same guy. No, no it's oh, not no. the guy. Oh, oh no. 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 Oh. Every night. Oh, it's terrible. Alan, are you are you seeing someone's wife or something? What? <laughs> do you owe somebody money? What is the problem Does exactly? It know? It know. Yeah, no, everything's fine. Oh, you gotta go run pounds of crap out of him. Oh. Do we have a minute? Do we have time for this or not? Do we have just a minute? Before the show, our uh, announcer Alan called her. How many of you know? Uh, he's on the program every now and then. He's the greatest. Hi, Alan. Right. There he is, right there. Are they high-quality balloons? You want the bird or not? <laughs> <laughs> Alan Coulter came to me and he said, Dave, if you have a second, I, I have something that's important to me. Uh, could you just give me a minute on the show? And we do have a minute or two. So, Alan, I'm just going to let you take it away. We have a couple of minutes. Go right ahead, my friend. What's Appreciate up? Appreciate it, Dave. You know, I do a lot of work with the uh, Tri-State Scouting Association. Yeah, no, I didn't realize that. Do a lot of work for them. I wanted to make a, they wanted to make a little presentation to me, so I invited them here tonight to do that. If it's okay, okay of, with you? Are, you're not man of the year? Are you man of the year? I might be. Oh, boy. I okay. Be. Go ahead, Kids, Alan. come on in, kids. Alan Calder. Mr. Calder. In honor of you being chosen our man of the year, we all took up a collection to buy you a portable AM-FM radio. Thank you so much, kids. I am That's really nice. proud to be your man of man the year. Man of the year, everybody. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, my God. What is... Oh, no. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh, my God. You kids, why don't you kids go on home? We'll get you a cab. You kids go back to New Jersey. You kids go on home. <laughs> Thanks, kids. Boy, oh boy. I mean, it was. <laughs> the, kids, the kids took up a collection for that AM, FM portable radio, and, and now look at it. I mean,. We were all so happy. We were so excited. Yeah, look at proud. it. Oh, look at that. And now mayhem. We're all very depressed and disturbed. In front of the kids, eh? Oh, my God. <laughs> Tri-State Scouting Association. I know, right in front Man of, of the year. Yeah. All right. it's, a, it's a great honor. <laughs> Collapsed, you know. All right. Okay. Um, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this, uh, we're very lucky to have uh, this uh, guy with us. Please welcome three-time winner of the Tour de France, Lance Armstrong. Get Lance, out of here. Get out of here. We have some music there. Do we have, have, music music oh, no, no. Do we have any music for oh, no. I'm, I'm not going to save it. For the guy. Because he's not. What? Wait a minute. He's obvious. 
I'm not going to play music for this guy because he's obviously not Lance Armstrong. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. He is not. Look at him. Oh, you know who that is? Who? It looks like that guy who beats up Alan every night. Uh oh, wait a minute. Oh, no. Uh oh. Wait. Oh, why did oh, you have to no. say that? Wait, hold it. Why did you have to say that? Oh, no. Back out here. Oh, uh, look at his fight. Is Lance. That is Lance. Lance. Can you get Lance? Get Lance, Lance back out here, yeah. He's he got his bicycle. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. <laughs> look at. Are you all right, Alan? No! There you go. Thank you very look much. Look at Alan. Congratulations on the Tour de France. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Alan's dying over there. <laughs> what? Alan is dying over there, and you're worried that he forgot his bicycle. Yeah, I know. Well, he won the, the Tour de France three yeah, years ago. Yeah, well, you can't do that without a Why bicycle. Why wasn't there music when the uh, three-time uh, bike race winner came in There should have been. Should have been some yeah. music. Rupert, do you have any questions? No, I think you asked all the questions already. What was Rupert's question? I, I don't have any questions. You have no questions? <laughs> Well, yeah, why don't you explain to uh, Gary? Was it Gary? Terry. Terry? Yes. How we play Beat the Clock. Well, Terry, you just stand there and they're going to play some music. <laughs> and you have to beat the clock. Okay. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's right. You just stand there and we'll play some music. <laughs> uh, okay, let's see. Let's start with the clock. Put up the clock. Do we have the clock? Okay. Uh, Terry, I can tell you, you have 30 seconds, all right? Okay. Anything you'd like to say before we start the clock? No, I don't think so. Okay, take some deep breaths. Have you ever seen the, the, the Beat the Clock before on the show? Uh, I can't say that I have. Okay, well, this will be a lot of fun for you. Don't, don't worry. <laughs> Experience is not necessary to be competitive and beat the clock, all right? <laughs> All okay. right, you're relaxed, you're feeling comfortable, you're feeling good about yourself, you're ready to go? Can I say, just say something, if you don't mind, could I just... Yeah, oh, Paul, the... Paul Schaefer has yeah. something you'd like to say, Terry. You stop the clock, you, you beat the clock, we stop the clock. That's right, We Terry. stop the clock, you beat the clock. That's right, you stop the clock, we beat the clock. <laughs> or we beat the clock, you beat the clock, we stop the That's clock. That's it, yes. You beat the clock, we, we stop, stop the, the clock. clock. Yeah. You understand? Yes. All right, everybody ready? Here we go. Start the clock. But I noticed you were coaching him there toward the end. <laughs> now, strictly speaking, we could disqualify both of you. But I'm in such a good mood tonight, I'm not going to do that. And you know, Terry, on Beat the Clock, the beautiful thing about it, there are no losers. All right. We have for you a gift certificate in the amount of $1 million, redeemable at the Hello Deli. Bring it in, girls. Here you go. Customer. Yeah, he's just getting. He didn't see anything. He wants out of here pretty bad. Uh, Sean P. Diddy Combs and Daljit Dollywall on the program. We'll be right back, everybody. Here's what I would like to know: Can we, since uh, we cheated the poor woman on her time, and, I, and I'm not saying I'm trying to bust this up. I'm not saying that at all. I would never, never do that because no. I'm sure she's very happy with Steve. Yeah. <laughs> right, anyway. Anyway, 
What I would like to do is to try to get her back on the show as soon as possible. Is, is, I, we can get her back, right? She Who works do you in have, London. Who do you have to talk to to get her back? Uh, I'll talk to the producer. Maria, is there, can we get... Uh, can we get Dolly Dollywall back on the uh, show? Sure, that's not a problem. It's not a problem. So that's great. <laughs> that, who was that? that doesn't look like our that's, producer. That's our producer Maria, Maria Pope. Pope. I don't think that's Maria. Wait a minute. Oh no, you know, you know, you know who that looks like? Who? who? That looks like that guy who beats up Alan every night. Oh no, that? there he goes. Oh, oh, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, ow. Oh, my God. Now where is he going? I don't know. I don't... Are we are we not paying for our linen service or something? What is? <laughs> That's who's on the program, and of course, it's uh, every Friday night we have the uh, CBS uh, mailbag, uh, the viewer mail, and we open up with. Please, please. Hey, excuse me, Mr. Letterman. Hi. Hi. How are, hi, you? How are you, sir? Oh, it's I... one of the CBS pages, yeah. Paul. Yeah. I have a. What's your uh, name? Hi, I'm Steve. Oh, hi, Steve. Steve. It's Steve, the CBS Steve, page. Yeah. I have a message for Alan Coulter. Alan Coulter is yes, our sir. announcer, Steve, and he's uh, sitting right over there. Yeah, hold on. Oh, oh, the, Steve, the uh, CBS yeah. page? I, I haven't met him, but he, he's not a page. What do you I, mean? He's got to be a 40 years old at least. Oh, yeah. This guy. Oh, you, you know what? You know, you, know, you know who this guy reminds me of? Who? He looks a little like that guy who's always beating up Alan oh, Coulter. Oh, no, don't say that. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait that. a minute. Oh, 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 oh look at that. Oh, 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 got I was completely, you know. Shouldn't. Sorry, I blame myself for you that. Should, one. Yes. Couldn't remind wow. him. I bet he cracked a rib. I think he took quite a beating. Oh, look at him. Poor I guy. blame myself look for that him. because yes, I was com I was completely duped. You were yes, you were reminded. I thought it was a page. I, you should have stayed yeah, with I'm the page. Yeah, I'm sorry. That one's on me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> All right, uh, Kevin wants to know, do you remember your first time? Well, you know, uh, honestly, Kevin, I don't mean any disrespect, but I personally don't think it's appropriate to talk about that, that kind of very personal, uh, Dave, very Dave. Uh, meaningful, Excuse very me, intimate Dave. kind of thing on hey, uh, television. So, hey, Dave. Uh, what, Alan? Dave? Yes. You know, uh, I remember my first time. It was amazing. Uh, I'm sure it was. I recall every detail. I recall every subtle nuance, uh -huh. every low okay. moan of ecstasy. All right. Oh. Right. I remember it well. Oh, my God. Is that what it is? Footage not available. In fact, the footage will never be available because Alan Carter has never even touched a woman and most likely never will. Women find him creepy, overly needy, and repulsive. His fumbling attempts to approach them are met with derision, disgust, and cruel, piercing laughter. There are no circumstances in the foreseeable future that could lead to Alan having a date, much less sexual congress. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, that was a wild, yeah, wild night. Right. really was. Back to you, Dave. Thanks, Alan. <laughs> Alan, was that your voice doing the little thing? Was that, was that your voice we heard doing yeah, the Yeah, thing? yeah, it was, Dave. Yeah, yeah, wow. A gig's a gig, Dave. All right. A fine. gig's a gig. A gig's a gig. A gig's a gig. That's it.